Now we're back, aren't we? Here, but look, it's me, and I'm on a microphone because uh, although I parked up, what you're looking at here is me parked up in uh, Carmax. It was grand, didn't it? it looks pretty there. Uh, but we had a bit of a drama with phone recording, and the uh, the audio volume has gone a bit ten one hundred. And uh, so I apologise in advance for very low sound quality on next gig. But any road, I've tweaked with it a touch, and we've got a little bit of sound back. Uh, here we are. This is uh, this is Shed Bin, and I'm just going to try and I don't know which way I'm going to go. Here there we are. Uh, so this is how I've got the back set up. You can see best camping bed there, look. Uh, and underneath here, I've got a a fairly large. Doesn't need to be this big, but um, uh, this is just one we got down from the kids kids want to fit nicely so it's a little air mattress little air bumpy chat thing there um and uh, and so this is the sort of living in now in here i've got all my food and stuff and then me, me pack obviously and then sort of tucked up there uh i don't know if you can just see that can you see that yeah there's my fridge uh cooler and inside that's all the toys uh and then a sleeping you know pillow and whatever now the chairs the seat the driver's seats move forward it's only move forward about a couple of inches um and I can stretch out fully in here. I'm just going to back up here and move around and I'm going to pull the bed up a touch because because uh, I had to get the uh, there's a blanket underneath, but I had to get something out from under the front here. Now, as you can see, there's a fair bit of space still under there, and I've folded the seat forwards as you can see here, uh, and then here we've got uh, you know the back of the seat folded up, and then there's a little rise here where the the mattress sort of sits but that's fine because i wanted my pillow slightly higher i like my pillow slightly higher and, and so i shoved i shoved my pillow up a touch and uh, where we go now what i should do uh all my other this is a the lighting in here is terrible uh these things up in the ceiling they're not worth they're not worth out the rubbish things so i've got a little flashlight that i've just strapped around one of the things here heads up uh, to give me a little brightness. Now I'm going to take this down every day because uh, the Jip the Magnificent, there he is, look, Jip the Magnificent uh, sleeps uh, and I don't want him to sleep on the mattress. Not he slept with me on the mattress like that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is uh, it, it's a bit, I don't want him mooching about in it while we're on the road because he will like pierce the air thing. But it, best pause or something or it might be slippy one or the other anyway what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull this down this this machine sucks as well as <laughs> it sucks as well as it blows he said um anyway that's that so that's that's the Chez first living accommodation uh in uh, in, in Chez Fint as it were um and uh, we've got a bit of a camp seat here for me breakfast and in here I've got all my, I think I told you that, all my camping stuff as well as food. Uh, and then somewhere down here I've got some tools as well as stuff on the roof. And then there's a, there's a scotch kicking about in there somewhere as well. And uh, father-in-law gifted me a bottle of rum for the trip. So we might just have to have one of them tonight. Any road, that's how that works. Um, and uh, I shall try and post this at some stage later on. Well, a number of, uh, I've posted this video in a couple of places, uh, well not this video, but some stills and things on the book of face and all that kind of nonsense, and uh, a number of uh, a number of folks have asked uh, how I went on sleeping. Well, what you can see here is a photograph that I've, I've taken uh, in the morning. Well, this is me and Jip just up bright and breezy up early in the morning. This was about, about 8 o'clock. It's quite a way up his car, Max, and, and of course it's not super bright, super early in the morning because it's it's um, well, it's it's up there, isn't it? You know, uh, and so uh, I can stretch out here fully, as you can see, uh, and uh, and it's quite toasty. I've got a couple of sleeping blankets and that, that throw on the top, and um, what I did was I run the Land Rover, uh, just idled it for about twenty minutes just before I went to bed, and then at night time. Uh, which is this next photo here, uh, I'd sort of uh, get undressed as it were and, and snuggle down in my sleeping blanket and uh, and that's that. Uh, now I weren't terribly cold uh, because I've um, got a dog you see and uh, dog keeps, uh, dog adds a bit of warmth and, and I've run pretty hot any road so that, you know I didn't really feel the cold to, at all to be honest um, and uh, the only difficulty was in the morning really when we just had to get up and of course the, the car was sort of uh, minus 17 or minus 20 whatever it were
Now, while I'm in voiceover mode, I just wanted to mention that uh, uh, I stopped over that night, I always mentioned this before, I stopped in Carmax, and Carmax, you can't see it here, but Carmax is sort of uh, down and to the left a bit really, just climb a steep hill as you come out of Carmax going up, and then there's a bit of a sort of a truck logging roady thing, or whatever it is, uh, and Jip and I wandered off down there because we wanted to have a bit of a look about and, and throw the frisbee. Um, and uh, you can't sort of see back on the valley, there's nowhere to pull over really, uh, which is a bit of a shame because one of the best views in Carmax, apart from the little porcupines that wander about everywhere, is this is this uh, valley thing. It's outstanding there, really. Uh, beautiful scenery, and I heartily recommend it, but unless you take that little bit of a track, I guess you'd never know. Now, from Carmax, uh, the next sort of place that you had to, or the next sort of place that I added to, at least, was the bottom of the Dempster Highway, uh, where this signpost is saying there's a bit of a gas stop there, and of course you need to fuel up. You know, you can make it to, from Carmax to the Dempster Highway post easily on a tank of gas, uh, but it's always wise at every opportunity to take uh, the chance to fuel up because it's on, you know you never just know whether the stations are going to be open or the pumps are working or whatever you are and you can be easily stuck without it. So um, you know, I filled up there and then I bobbed on into uh, Dawson City um, which is a bit of an odd place at the best of times it, it's uh, it, it has, it's not much changed really since the, the gold rush when it was sort of founded I guess uh, and you can see from the, the still above that the, the buildings are still pretty much exactly the, the way they were and with the fresh coat of paint. Anyway, in Dawson City you can get some uh, fuel supplies uh, and uh, some other bits and bobs and I checked the weather while I was there as a precaution and uh, and the road conditions because there's some signal there. The other thing I did was I stopped off and picked up a, a cardboard box just to shove down in front of the heater just in case um, that sort of thing sort of uh, was necessary, uh, which it wasn't, but uh, better prepared. Uh, and then you head back out of Dawson City, or at least I did, uh, sort of 20 minutes to the fuel stop at the bottom of the Dawson Creek, and um, at Dawson Creek, at the bottom of the Dempster Highway, and then, uh, and then, well, this happens really. Uh, this is uh, video footage taken <laughs> by by me and the drone. Not very well, I might add, as you can see. I still haven't sort of got used to the drone as as we were here, and I'm I'm trying to drive the, while I'm driving the car and driving the drone at the same time. So you can see that there's um, it's, it's not the best, is it really? But it did me. I, I was sort of picked up a little bit. There is some drone footage on the channel, which I'm sure you've seen somewhere else, uh, and uh, and this isn't this isn't bad footage by any stretch of the imagination. Um, well, the scenery is champion, and it's uh, it's really top banana there. If you if you can see the bottom of the Dempster uh, is is gravelly, like you can see here, but it's it's also very picturesque, and some of the best scenery I think is at the at the start of the Dempsters.